All right, guys. Well, here we go. Lonnie Price. We're going to steal trash cans, and then that's pretty much it. And we're going to try to sell them on, uh, on Twitter and see if, uh, see if we get some takers on some trash cans. That's what we're going to do. I think that's going to be for the best. The trash can marketplace. Yes. Trash can marketplace. I love it. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. All right. Cool. There is no brewery, sadly. It'd be cool if they had one. Plenty of trash on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Trash can marketplace. That's no way to talk about Amazon. <laughs> Ooh. We have our first one up here on the left. Oh, and we do. Which pretty soon we're going to have that prop. Attached script, which is going to be awesome. Alright. Roll it on in here, I guess. There you go. That way it looks like it's gone from the front store. There you go, just like that. Okay. Uh alright, let's do some Twitter. Profile name, Lonnie Price. Oh, is it going to be slow on this too? That really sucks. Eh, that's not too bad. Okay, we'll make a new one. We'll do $10 or best offer. Offer. If interested, meet at 247 Sandy Shores. Not snat, not snatty, but Sandy. Sandy Shoals. There we go. Tweet it out. Scam alert. There's a person out there asking questions about the water. It's not us. That's Los Santos Power and Water. Interesting. Okay. Very interested in me, 24 7 Sandy Shores. Okay, we'll give that one a shot. We'll give it a shot, man. Let's see if we have any takers. We stole that trash can. Right, let's now call that in. Not emergency call waiting. It's going to be out at 1005. 005. Oop. 5. Route 68. I'll approach whatever. Daryl. There we go. <clears throat> we'll call it in as Daryl. The guy who runs it. We'll see how long it takes. Because it's not, well, it's not, we use the 911 call center, but it's not an emergency. You know what I mean? It'd be them calling and them about it to let them know it was, you know, it was stolen. San Andreas, dispatch, how may I help you? 
Oh, hey, how's, how's it going? I'm out here at uh, 1005, and uh, I work at the ammunition here. My name's Daryl. Okay. And, uh, well, we had a fella come around the corner. He had a, a cowboy hat on and long hair. Uh, and he he done he told he he done stole or took our uh, our only trash can we had out front. I never seen nothing like it. Okay, you said it was a male with a cowboy hat and long hair. Yeah, he had a cowboy hat on. For what I could see, he had long hair. He's like one of them hippie fellers. But yeah, he, I mean, he took our trash can and he drove away. I didn't see what kind of car he was in or nothing. But I just want I, I figured I have to call y'all let you know what happened. Okay. Uh, could you tell if he was white, black, Hispanic? Uh, it was a white, white fella for sure. Uh, and the trash can was, was tan and it had like a black top on it. All right. And it had like these and rigid, like little holes in the side of it, you know, like those, uh, like a, like a metal with like drilled holes in the side. All right. I appreciate the detailed description of the trash can. Um, did you happen to see what color shirt or pants the person that stole it was wearing? No, I didn't. I, I saw it. I, I think he had tattoos. That's all I remember seeing. But, you know, my, my memory's not as good as it used to be. Okay. And are you going to be uh, on scene there so an officer can take a report from you? Uh, I will not be because I need to uh, I need to skedaddle on home and, uh, and get biscuits going. Well, we're having biscuits and gravy tonight for dinner. Sounds delicious. All right. Um... Well, we'll be look on the lookout for an unknown vehicle with a trash can. Uh, did you see if it was a truck or a car? Or I mean, it, it looked like it looked like a small little car. That's all I know. I don't I don't know what kind it was, but that's all I know. Smaller looking car. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we'll be on the lookout for it. Uh, and you didn't see which direction he headed on 68. Yeah, he went east. He was headed east. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. And uh, about how long ago did he leave? Uh, I would probably say in real time right now, looking at my watch, probably about five minutes. All right. Thanks for the real time update. And I will be on the lookout, sir. If you see him again, don't hesitate to give us a call back. All right. I sure appreciate you calling ammunition. You have a nice day now. Well, you called me, but you too. All right. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> So stupid. Oh, I had to give the detailed. Oh, that was the idea. I had to give the detailed description of the trash can and the dinner, but not of the perp because I want them to work for it. And oh, any trash cans over here worth stealing? Worth taking? Let's check our phone. We have any hits? Nobody. Nobody wants a trash can. I take it. Pisswasser Breweries in Cypress Flats, Innocence Boulevard, and Popular Street. Remember for next time. Really? That's interesting. Ooh, there's another trash can over there. Oh, a big gray one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's real nice. That's a good trash can. Oh, I like that one. It'd be great if a cop was like driving by and sees me with a cowboy hat looking at all these trash cans. <laughs> Try and move it. Oh, car show at Yellow Jack. I could try to sell my trash can there. All right, we're going to steal that one too. I'll do a, uh, uh, oh no. I'll keep that one for now. I think that's the only call I really need to make right now. And then we're just going to be like nosing around the trash, you know, at the trash cans. And then once we sell one, we'll be able to keep on going on from it. That's the idea. You know, like petty theft and then step it up ever so slightly. Yep. There's a 40 gallon rubber made. That's pretty much what that is. You can't add a trailer to a car. It doesn't have a, ch a hitch. It does not. But if they're having a car show at the Yellow Jack, well, I'm all for it. I'll try to unload this stupid trash can for 10 bucks for best offer. 
doing it and bum a smoke or something off somebody. Oh, yeah. That's a car show, and it's two cars and a truck of pallets and a willy jeep and a couple and a bike. Uh oh. Is that about? Oh, somebody's getting pulled over. Somebody's getting pulled over. Oh, that's the trunk. It's in the front. Let's see. Let's go talk to some people. Whoa. Whoa, Hello. you freaking out, What's man. Up? What's up? Well, why are you freaking out? No, you were like freaking out, man. I was like, I wasn't really sure what was going on. Oh, was, was I freaking out? I don't know. I don't remember. My name's Lonnie. Nice to meet you. Uh, my name's Rickman. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah, I, I've got a trash can for sale. It's $10 or best offer. It, it's a pretty nice one. I'll see if any of y'all were interested in it. Why are you selling a trash can? You just pick one up from Dollar General. Yeah, or? it's a used one, and, you know, I've had it for a long time in the family, but. You know, I need Hi. money now. I can't afford any smokes or drink. Well, why? I, I mean, okay, you said it's like $10, right? Yeah, 10 or best offer, you know, like $10 is like okay. the, the lowest I'll go, man. Okay, can I at least see the trash can? Yeah, yeah, it's over here. You interested in the trash can, man? I don't really need one at the moment, but sounds like a good deal. Need a cigarette? No, it, I didn't steal. No, no, no. It sounds like a good deal. Well, I mean, I don't eat out of it. It's not like a, like a meal source or anything, man. Why would you eat out of a trash can? I, I That's just insane. Yeah, he said it sounds like a good meal, man. No, that doesn't sound like it. No, he said deal, not meal. Oh, deal. <laughs> I got you, man. What? You, oh, you what? said you got a cigarette, man? Can. Yeah, you want one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll bum a smoke you off you, man. I'm guessing that's your Volkswagen over there. I'm sorry, Fiat. Yeah, yeah it's my car over there. Yeah, I got the trash can. You know, it's got one of them. Uh, what are they called? I believe they're called bonnets or something. Uh, uh, did you say bonnet? Yeah, like, they, like you know, like those cars over in Europe, they have like a, a, a boot and a bonnet, man. That's a hood in a trunk. That's what they say in uh, England. Yeah, yeah, it's one of that one of those, man. But I have the trash can in the front, man, because that doesn't have an engine in there. It's in the back. Oh, well, that, yeah, yeah, that makes, that does make sense, yeah. All right, well, you want to see it? It's $10 or best offer, man. It's all, all I right, can I, go I, with. I, I want to take a look at it first before I do make an offer. All right. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's aluminum, and it's got, like, holes in the side, man. And then it's got, like, yeah, you can see it right there. It's got the black top on it. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely a nice trash can. Yeah, Here. Here. Ten dollars or best offer, man. It's all I can do, and and I and I'm trying to get a marketplace going for these things, man, here, because they're here. they're awesome, man. Will this do? No, I, I, I this ain't a charity, man. I only need ten dollars at the max, man. Oh, that's all I have. But here, uh, here, um, I, I'll, I'll, um, here, I'll give you twenty. How about that? Because that's all I have. I have twenty. Twenty. All right, that's like a ten dollar profit. Yeah, here you go, man. That's all I have. Like, all right. Well, here you go. Here's the trash can, man. Oh, oh, hopefully it, it finds a good home. You know, I, I think a lot of people got that wrong about trash cans, man. They got they got like a feeling and like a soul, man. Like, you got to share that. Soul. Yeah, you're right. You got to share that energy with it, man. Oh, definitely. And it's uh, got good I, vibes and good energy. That's why I was, you know, I, I wasn't going to go lower than $10, man. Yeah, the last trash can I had actually had a hole in it. Oh, well, this one's got like several holes in the side of it, but it, it won't leak or nothing if you put a bag in there. That's good. We don't have to worry about leak or leaking liquids and stuff. So. Oh, there's a donk again. All right, you need any help like moving it over to your car or anything? Uh, yes, if you want to get my hand with it. That's yep, fine. yep. Let me go. Let me yeah, grab nice, strong, it here. A nice strong man like you would. You know, with those muscles. I'm not as strong as I used to be, man. It's been yeah, like... you have nice muscles. I mean... I haven't been to the gym in like 35 years, man. Yeah, my my lungs do all the working out now. <laughs> you stay in shape, though. 
Uh, here. Uh, yeah, I get it open the trunk and I'll pop, I'll drop it in here. There you go, man. Hopefully, it, you know you can you can give it some love. It needs some love, man. Thank you. What'd you say your name was again? My name's Lonnie. Thank you, Lonnie. Yep. Uh, well, I would definitely be giving this a big use. All right. I appreciate it, man. Take care. Right. Time for me to get a smoke in. Oh, look at that. We sold our first one. And in true RP fashion, it was, uh, you know, offered $500 for it. <laughs> Whoa, where'd you get that beer, man? Oh, hey, the uh, the bartender's in there. She's giving, she's a sale for $3 a beer. Three dollars? Well, I only have $10, man. That's not enough for me to get, you know, buzzed. Yeah, I mean, you could get three and kind of chug them all down. I mean, yeah, but, well, like, that's $9. The other one leaves me with a dollar. Red dollar, man. Did you want to be a part of our uh, car show? <laughs> no, I... No, I'm good, man. All right. Yeah, I was saying a classic like that would be perfect, but yeah, that's fine. No, it's all good, man. All right. Have a good day, man. Yeah, I go in her. I get three beers and then ask her what you can get for a dollar. Maybe she. Oh, you're gonna get that me shop. three beers, man? Thanks. Oh, I mean, if you go in there with your ten bucks, she'll she'll get you three beers and then she'll probably be able to get you like a small shop for a dollar or something. We're not gonna. That's only really gonna. That's only gonna get me like three beers, man. Hey, you know what? I'll, I got some extra change here. I'll go grab you a beer. That way you can get four. All right, man. I'm going to say that, and then I'm just going to leave. <laughs> so confusing. All right. Well, we don't have the trash can on us, so if we get stopped by the police, we don't have to worry about that. I'm going to make sure that they, they want to talk to me. I'm going to ask them, how do I get to the... Uh, how do I get to the hot or how to get to 24 seven? Excuse me, officer. How's it going, sir? Hey, how, how do I get to the 24 seven in Sandy Shores, man? Uh, if you take a left here and just keep going, you'll hit the, the stoplight up there. You can No, I haven't hit any stoplights today, man. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, go uh, turn left, go up to the stoplight. Go through the stoplight, and it's your first road on your right. You'll be right in front of the fire station. Take that road and all the way down. It's down there. All right, so it's like two rights and a right, and then a left? No, it's a left and then one right. Left and then one right. Okay, thanks, yeah. man. You're welcome. Yeah, that one. <laughs> he goes, yeah, that was him. They think it's me, the trash can bandit. They definitely think it's the trash can bandit. They said the first right. I'm going to go right. He completely forgot about these two rights. <laughs> yeah, Rolani does need a joint pretty bad. Hey, CBL, thank you very much. Glad you enjoy it. Mackenzie, what's up? How you doing? All right, we're going to be lost here. And they're going to see me too, because I'm going to come out the other side. And they're going to be like, what? Because I turn I made the first right. But it's it's a loop. It just takes you back around. I made my left, but I made the first right. He told me to go go to the right. And he told me to make a right, so I'm gonna make the right. <laughs> and then I'll make another right. I'm gonna have to keep just making rights. He, because he gave me the wrong he gave me the wrong instructions or directions.
Another right. Yeah, Lonnie's lost. Yeah, he thinks this is the way to the 24-7, but it's not. Thanks a lot, Matt. You gave me the wrong directions. Actually, what Matt gave us was actually really convoluted for a way to get there. <laughs> Perfect. Some people, some people are leaving. There's some cops. Oh, he flipped around on me. All right, we'll go to the 24-7. Oh, he's not pulling me over yet. Maybe we have to make a right here. He said make a right. So we'll try this one. Oh, yeah. I think they're going to pull me over. Think, oh, because it's him. He's the one that told me the directions. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> I think this is Matt. I'm pretty sure this is Matt. We'll see. Because I'm lost, man. I mean, what are you going to do? Nothing you can do. Oh, I'm going to tell him that he gave me bad directions. Don't you worry about that. That will happen. I, I think he forgot about that right. It's a civilian Tahoe? That's a police Tahoe. Wow. Pretty hungry. Whoa, hello. Somebody just took a damn Joshua tree down. It was that guy. Oh, this is definitely about the trash cans. If there's two units, they don't need two units to, to help me with directions. No, they, they, they think I have the trash can, but I unloaded it. I got rid of it. So at least I don't have any evidence on me. Let me roll the windows down. You know they're going to ask me to do that. So I might as well, might as well do it. There we go. And we'll do e vape. <laughs> no, I didn't take the trash can at the discount store because I was like, we won't have room for it in this car. I'm going to go back and get it after we, we had uh, sold that one. Just, you just, you know, having a nice vape. It's not marijuana. They're coughing. Oof. It's a lot of smoke, sir. Oh yeah, sorry, it's my vape, man. I I like okay. trying to quit cigarettes, man. Gotcha. Hey, I'm Deputy Francis, the sheriff's office. Yeah, uh, you yeah, you gave me the wrong directions, man. No, I uh, I saw you take the wrong left turn here. I said go down to the stop light. That's about. Oh, two I thought you north. said make a left like where I was and then take a right, man. No, no, go 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 this way to the stop light and then take a right. Where Anyways, where was I going? Uh, the twenty four seven is where you. That, were yeah, I was to. going to the twenty four seven, man. Yeah, instead here, this would have taken you, like, to the scrapyard or the backside of the U tool. Yeah, I saw that, man. I was like, this doesn't look like a gas station, you know? No, no, not at all. Hey, listen. Um, yeah. Real quick, the reason we're we're stopping you is, um, we we saw you back there at the, uh, uh yellow jack. Excuse me. And uh, you, oh, yeah. you match a description of someone that we're looking for. Oh, you're looking for me, man? Yeah, it seems like. We're, have you been over uh, at an ammunition today at all? Uh, no, I haven't been to ammunitions at all. Okay. I can't. Uh, I can't even own a gun anymore, man. 
Gotcha, gotcha. You've been uh, the far, I guess, west side of 68 at all? Uh, west of 68? Yeah, like like over Joshua, uh, down there by like Fort Zancudo. I haven't been over there in years, man. Okay. Yeah, the re <laughs> again, the reason we're stopping you is we got reports from someone down there that a uh, person matching your description stole a trash can. A trash can? Yeah, and to be honest with you, I don't know why we're we're really bowling a, a stolen trash can, but they, they wanted us to look for it, so. Uh, I mean, I don't have a trash can on me, man. <laughs> you can look. Okay. Well, uh, you, what's your name, sir? My name's Lonnie. Lonnie? What's your last name, Lonnie? Price. Like, okay. the price is, you know, good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I know what you're talking about. All right. Um, they, call, they used to call me the price back in the day, man, because I gave, like, the best prices around town, you know? Yeah. What kind of prices are we talking them for what? Oh, that was back whenever I used to sling dope, man. Gotcha. You haven't done that in a while, though? No, I can't do that. Well, I mean, like, I do it at home, you know, to get my glaucoma in check. Gotcha. Okay. But now I got to smoke on these damn things, and, and they taste like strawberry fields, man. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that's a change for it. Hey, give me one second, Lonnie. Let me just go make sure you're all set. Let me uh, check a couple things on this bowl, and I'll be right back with you, okay? What was that, man? I said, let me let me just go run your name, make sure you're all good, check on a couple things in the bolo, and then uh, we'll get you out of here, okay? No, I'm not going bowling tonight, man. I went bowling, uh, was it three days ago? Uh, no, not bowling. Bolo. Uh, I don't know. I am. That's <laughs> okay. Wait, it's you okay. just it's asked me if I've smoked in a while. It's been a bowl, man. Yeah, just hang tight, okay? We're, we're, let me just go check some information, all right? All right, man. Okay. Hey, how do I get to the twenty four seven, man? Uh, so that's gonna be real easy. Once you once we finish here, you're gonna make a right at this intersection. Okay. You're gonna go straight through the next intersection, go over the train tracks, and you'll see a stoplight. You're gonna continue through the stoplight. You're gonna turn right at the fire station, or just before the fire station, and you'll follow there all the way down to the end, and then you'll see the twenty four seven on your left just before the gas station. All right, man. Yeah, I'm going to try to remember that. Yes, sir. Now, uh, what you been up to this evening? You just been kind of riding around the county? Yeah, I went over to the Yellow Jack, and, uh, and this guy offered to buy me a beer, man, but then he wouldn't buy me one, so I left. Okay, so he, you never actually got the beer? Nope. I haven't. No, I haven't had anything to drink or anything. Okay. I'm supposed now, to, Mr. I'm uh, supposed Mr. to get, Price, if you don't mind me asking what, what exactly is in your vape there? Is that just the, the well, they call the it nicotine? straw. They call it strawberry fields, man. Strawberry fields. Okay. That, it it's the have ice THC one. I specifically told the guy at LTD. I didn't want the ice flavor, but he gave it to me anyway. And I, I'm, I, I already paid for it. He wouldn't give me it back, man. Okay. That doesn't have THC or marijuana in it. Correct. No, not not at all, man. Okay. I just, right, just threw that sure. one away just two days ago because I, I need to get back down to Los Santos because I need to go see the doctor so I can get some. One okay, of the yeah, one of the just, pens. Just so you know, even with a medical marijuana card, you can't you can't use marijuana and then drive. It's still considered a DUI. Oh you yeah, I don't, sure I don't I don't do that, that, man. No, I don't do that. All right, Lonnie. Well. Uh, you're all set. Okay, I, I got rid of the bolo. You obviously don't have a trash can on you. I mean, to, to be honest with you, if you had a trash can and you were down there at all and you took it, probably not the best bet. Maybe maybe go return it. But um, yeah, obviously you don't have it on you right now. So we're gonna we're gonna clear the bolo that way you don't get stopped anymore and and get you out of here. Okay. All right. Can you close my trunk, man? Yeah. Yeah, I can close it for you. Yeah, I'll get the hood for you. Things a little stubborn. Thanks, man. Right, hey, can you go. can you check my oil back there? Uh, it's not really good to check it while it's running. You need to let the vehicle cool down first and then check it. Yeah, he's got a point there. Oh, Ricky always told me to keep the engine running. No, no, I, no, no. You want to check the transmission fluid while the engine's running. Yeah. Oh, hey, the you guys are yeah. cops. Why have you here? 
Hey, tomorrow I gotta go pick my son up from Bowling Broke. Is is that nearby here? Because I heard it's out in the county, man. Yeah. So. Yeah. You see those uh, big satellite dishes to your left? Yeah, yeah, I see them. There's a there's a dirt road that, or there's a, a paved road that winds around a big rock right next to those. Yeah, you follow it back and you'll see the prison right there. All as right. A, as a matter of fact, you see those lights, those light poles back there? No. Over, over, oh, there's light. I can see them from here. There, there's light poles over there behind the the satellite dishes. That's the actual prison. Oh, so I'm like really close to it. Yeah. So yeah, you you're, wanna... you're pretty close. You I haven't seen my son here? in quite a few months, man. You want to go out from here, take a left, and then go down to where this uh, deputy said and take a right, and it's just that road right there. All right. Sounds good, man. Can you close my uh, my my trunk? Yeah. Yeah, I got you, Mr. Lonnie. Perfect. All right. Thanks, All right, man. Mr. Lonnie, will you be careful out there? And like I said, just, just take a right and then turn at the fire station. You'll see the 24-7 on your left. All right, sounds good, man. All right, take it easy. Have a good have, one. Uh, have a good one, Lonnie. Bye. <laughs> I'm glad we got rid of the trash can. That worked out great. Oh, this is a Porsche. Okay, say so go over the tracks and then a right. He actually did give us some decent. Whoa, hello. Some decent ones. Decent instructions. And uh, he just got out of jail for that whole Christmas tree stuff that happened. Oh, yeah, we're taking the 24-7 trash can for sure. There we go. We're definitely going to take the 24-7 trash can. I think there is one out in front of it. Is there one out here? Oh, there's one up. There's a silver one back here. Or galvanized one. <clears throat> I don't see an actual trash can, though. That's surprising that they don't have one out front. Once we get that prop uh, <clears throat> attached script in here, that's going to be awesome. Oh, it's a helicopter. Thought I heard one. I guess we could take this one. It's not it's not a good one, but we can use it. There we go. Push this on out into the street. It'd be hilarious if a cop saw us doing this. I think the air unit's going to see us doing stupid stuff down here with the trash can. <laughs> That'd be good. Pop it open. All right. We're going to leave this open. We get pulled over like this because we have the... Uh, we're going to Ace Ventura it with our head out the window. Do a global for that one. Do a GME. Ings head out of window to C. There we go. <clears throat> if anybody had any, any questions, that's what's going on. Ace Ventura style is the best style. Now we have a trash can in the front, but it's a, it's a, that galvanized one. It doesn't match, match the description of the one that was stolen from earlier. That'll be perfect.
if we get in a uh, pursuit, it's, we're, we're going to get into like a very low speed, like a very slow pursuit. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it's so good. Waiting for those lights. <laughs> there it is. Oh man, instantly. And then we'll make the we'll make the call from 24/7 after this traffic stop. So they can put it all together. I think that'll be the best. That'll be the best one. What's going there, sir? Hey, how's it going, man? Not bad. Looks like you have a problem with your hood. Everything all good? Yeah, I got a trash can up like that that trash can there. I got it up from my house and uh I was going to take it down to a buddy that bought it on Twitter, man. <laughs> you sold him a trash can? Yeah, it's yeah, it's one of them galvanized ones that, you know, it's got like a little bit of rust on it, but I'm going to sell it to him for five dollars, man. OK, I got you, man. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Give me just a minute. OK, yeah, I see now. That's uh, you probably don't have you probably have the engine in the back, don't you? Yeah, the car is a euro, man. Gotcha. OK. Well, you can't have your hood up like that, man. It's kind of dangerous. Um, yeah, I just keep my head out the window. I can see straight. Small car, man. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Have you got your license, restoration, proof insurance on you? Yeah, man. My name's Lonnie. Lonnie? Lonnie Price, man. Yeah. Lonnie Price. All right. That name sounds familiar. Do you have, do you have a son by any chance with the last name Price? No, I ain't seen the son in a while. I think it's supposed to come up in like the next few hours or so, man. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, all right, Lonnie, just go ahead and sit tight. All right. All right. Sounds good, man. <laughs> it's going to be vaping. It's a dangerous game. They play man with the, uh, the lock in the doors and get locked out so easy. <laughs> so good are script hooks enabled no we don't have script hooks enabled can't run script hook that's a helicopter I think that's an air unit or maybe it's not it's just somebody in a helicopter oh nice Whoa, that dude just drifted around the corner there. All right, Lonnie, here's your information back. All right, man. Just uh, try to be careful out there when you're trying to transport this. Try to take it straight there, all right? All right, yeah, I ain't got far to go, man. Okay, because I don't know how other officers are, but... Me, I don't see no problem with it, but as long as you can see out the window, like, kind of like pulling like a <laughs> Ventura kind of thing, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So just be careful. Go straight there. And overall, just have a good day. All right, man. All righty, man. Have a good one. Later. <laughs> Let's see what this one has to say. This deputy here is not going to let this fly. There's no way. <laughs> he's going to be talking to him. Oh yeah, no, he's not going to let this fly. This deputy is like, what? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Take two. Oh, now it's going to be another deputy talking about it to another deputy about it. <laughs> hey, is, is his hood up for you? 
<laughs> They're going to discuss it now. <laughs> yeah, he he can't. Yep. He'll have to find another vehicle to transport it. He yes. He there you go. It. Doc's got it. I obviously don't have room for it. You don't, but yeah, he'll have to find somebody with a pickup truck because he can't. He can't drive with that. Yeah, I, I just didn't know how to go about it because I was like, I don't know, I don't know if you can like move it or something, or like, close, like find a way to close the hood or something. But I just didn't. Know I mean, if he could, it. if he could get the hood closed enough that it's not obstructing his view, I, I would see that. But I mean, he can't see anything right now, so that's the issue. <laughs> yeah, he sticks out. Of yeah, yeah, you're. It's that's not unacceptable, but um, <laughs> that's all good. I'll, I'll make contact with him and see if we can get a resolution. And forth. Hey, Mr. Price, Deputy oh! Taylor, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Hey, what's up, man? You scared me on the. I'm not used to police coming on the right side of the door, man. Sorry, it's just safer this way. That way, I ain't gotta kind of ain't gotta stand so close to these locals. They're they're crazy at times. Um, oh yeah, so I Mr. got Lonnie, you, man. That that other deputy informed me that you have the the trash can in the front there, and you're gonna you were going to return it. Yeah, I was gonna take it back. To, I'm taking to a guy that bought it off of me, man, for five dollars. Okay, well you know, um, a that if it's the trash can that we were referring to earlier, that stolen property, meaning that in in a in inclusion to being charged with the theft you can then be charged with trafficking of stolen property which is an additional charge you know that right yeah but like i said i didn't steal any trash can man i'm just gonna be selling this one to my buddy okay all right, so that's it's. Oh yeah, I'm looking at it now. It, it is. It looks like one of those metal guns. So the the issue we have is your trunks, your your trunk in the front or your frunk, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. It's blocking the windshield, and it's making it to where you can't see and you're not allowed to drive in this manner. Oh, um, I understand, man. I don't know if maybe you can kind of lay it down and see if you can get the hood to close. If, if as long as you can see like. Well, I know the hood's not going to close, windshield. but I can see if that guy over there wants to buy it from me, man. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if you want to see if somebody over there wants to buy it, or if you've got a friend with a pickup truck that wants to transport it for you, that's fine. Yeah. It's you only just, $5. It's got a little bit of rust on it. That's not a bad deal. But uh, yeah, I mean, unfortunately you can't be driving with the hood up like that. It, it's just, uh, it's a safety hazard for you. It's, it's, you know, hazardous for the other drivers. Yeah, I don't think I'm in the hood, man. I think I'm in harmony. No, no, the front of your the the hood of the vehicle, the the trunk lid. Oh yeah, the the bonnet or the the boot. Yeah, the boot lid. With it blocking your view like that, it's it's unsafe for you to drive. Even if you were to hang your head out the window, it's it's unsafe and you can't drive like that. All right, can I go see if these guys want to buy it real fast before I leave it on the side of the road? Yeah, that's fine. If you want to see if those guys want to buy it, um, I do have to ask that you leave the vehicle here. I can stand okay. by with it so nobody messes with it if you want to walk over there. But, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, until we get that hood or that bonnet lid closed, you can't leave. All right. Can I get out of the car? Yeah, that's fine. That's perfectly fine for you to go ahead and get out of the vehicle. All right. Let me go see if they want to score a trash can, man. I'll be right back. All right. Perfect. Appreciate it. <laughs> Knowing the Pilot Brothers, I'm sure they will buy this. They like to buy the crappy pallets. They're going to buy a broken garbage tr trash can they can just scrap. Hey, what's wow. up, man? Oh, hey, wow. how's it going? Hey, I'm in a little bit of a conundrum. If you could, Maybe you guys can help me out. Yeah, what, how, what, how can we help you today, sir? Well, yeah, this 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 cop over here pulled me over because I, I was supposed to take a trash can down to my buddy. He's buying it for $5. It's one of them galvanized trash cans, and it's got, like, a little bit of rust on it. But he's saying I can't because I can't keep it in the front of my car. 
So I didn't know if you guys wanted to buy it for five dollars and scrap it out or something, man. But they won't. It, otherwise, I gotta leave it on the side of the road. This sounds like a good deal. Actually, right. 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 we have to raise it up twenty to secure it. Yeah, to watch it, buttons. Okay, sir, I will pay you twenty dollars for that right now. Buttons. All right, man. Yeah, you can come over there and pick it up. It's in the front of my car. What happened? Okay. We're buying a garbage can. Oh, yeah, it's only five dollars. I appreciate it, man. Look at that. We sold it for 20 bucks. That's a pretty good investment. It's a pretty yeah, good right. investment. <laughs> I can't believe it worked, Ford fan. I can't believe it. Yeah, it's a pretty know. good one. It's one of those galvanized ones, you know, that like they oh, usually yeah, go for a lot more money, fan. but yeah. Yeah, I sold it to him for 20 bucks, man. All right, that sounds good. Yeah, like I said, unfortunately, I just I can't let you drive like that. It's just not safe. No, I understand, man. Yeah, I was trying to see how far I could go. I I wasn't even thinking about that, man. Yeah, I understand. All right, Mr. Price. Well, as soon as you get that bonnet or uh, boot lid closed up there, you'll be free to go. All right, I appreciate it, man. Hey, you guys need right, help with welcome. it? No, here you go. Here's your uh, here's your payment, sir. All right. Well, thank you very much, man. This yeah, is no this is way more than what I was going to sell it for to my buddy. Oh, okay. He I think I think he was trying to cheat me. Yeah, he's yeah. I think he might have been trying to cheat you a little bit too. Only someone that takes. Buses. No, I'm not cheating, man. No, I said he was trying to cheat you. He was trying to. Oh, I got kinda, you. Okay. Okay. He was, he was taking advantage of your good nature by by under letting you undercharge him all right all right man all right mr price we'll appreciate your cooperation you're free to go at this time have a wonderful rest of your day you too take care man yeah i know it said buttons i saw lonnie's not the smartest so it doesn't matter to him trunk Boop. there we go now we have to make our 911 call whoa They're gonna go get him. He's cutting through that way to go catch up to that guy. That Civic was flying, man. Damn, dude. Yeah, I know they paid me in buttons. It's all good. No, we've only made $5 today. Well, no, we got 10 for that other one. Yeah, they're going after that Civic. Oh, they pulled him over, I guess. This one right over here. Yep, they got him. It looks just like the Honda Civic that I use for fast and slow. Hmm. Look just like it. Have the same exact uh, markings on it, too. All right, now we have to make the call. We gonna be this guy right here. He gonna talk like this. He worked at twenty four seven. <laughs> oh God, I love it. All right, actions. Dial nine one one twenty four seven twenty four seven. Sandy Shores. Uh, that's at ten thirty five. That what it is. Yep, 10.36. Yeah. 10.36 Alhambra. 10.36 Alhambra. Alhambra. Drive. Our name will be Cole. There we go. Now we just got to wait for Brad and we're going to report that trash can stolen. <laughs> it's good. It's going to be great because Cole just got to work and he's going through the security cameras or his boss told him, told him about it and he just got around to calling. And then he's got to, he's, and then whenever he's like, are you going to be there to be, be a reported party? He'd be like, no, he's, he's, he's getting off work right now. 
That's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to do it. We'll see how it goes. San Andreas Dispatch, how may I help you? Hello, my name is Cole. I work at the 24 7 Sand Source. I'm sorry, what was your name? My name's Cole. Cole? Alright, Cole, uh, what's going on there? Yeah, I work at the Sand Source and uh, I got to work today. My, my balls are told me that, the, uh, that somebody stole those trash cans out there and I didn't believe them. But I went in there and I looked at the. Uh, what was that? The, uh, in, 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 a, in a CCTV? And, uh, yeah, and there's somebody who got some sort of man in a cowboy hat. He took our trash can. Okay. Um, do you know when this occurred? It happened about, I guess, last night. Because I'd have gotten where I didn't believe him. Okay. Um, I don't exactly know what time it is in your eyes right now. Uh, so it was last night recently, or? Yeah, like right now, it's 10, 15 in the morning. And uh, I guess they took it about 2 a.m. Yes, last night, so in the morning. Okay, so it's been about 6, 8 hours, somewhere in there. Yeah, about a lot, but something like that. But it was one of them in Galvin House trash cans. And got the, well, he took out the trash bag and the, the galvanized area went out and put it in the car. Okay, what kind of car was it? It looked like a little green car. I don't, I, from what I could tell. Yeah, okay. the failure had a, he had a cowboy hat on. Did your, uh, did your cameras happen to pick up a plate on that vehicle at all? Oh, uh, my, let me enhance it. Uh, C two five eight on it. That's all I see. I'm sorry. C is in Charlie, and then the number two and the number five. I see two and a five and an eight. Oh, a two, a five, and an eight. Yeah, I can't make out the other eye side of it. I'm all zoomed in all the way I go. Okay, that's fine. And uh. Did you want us to send officers by to take a report from you? No, I'm about to get off work right now. Okay. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll be on the lookout for the uh, trash can thief and. Uh, yeah, it's a galvan the galvanized the trash can. can on the galvanized from my U2. Okay. Well, hopefully we can retrieve it for you. We'll uh, we'll call whoever the manager on duty is at 24/7 if we locate it. All right. I let I let my wife know. All right. Take care, meow. <laughs> <laughs> he threw a meow at me, too. Too good. Too good. All right. He does not look like a... It does not sound like a guy who would know how to zoom in. Hey, you can't judge. Don't judge a book by its cover or by its voice. He works in ITT. He knows what he's talking about. He was able to enhance and he got the partial plate on it. I haven't called it in yet. When, once they do the bolo, they're going to be like, I just saw that car. It'll be perfect time for it. Oh my. You guys names Cole. We just used Daryl. Daryl worked at the uh, ammunition. Can't use the same name. I almost laughed twice during that. It was so hard to do that and not laugh. <laughs> so ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous.
All right. You can't add police lights to any car. Don't work that way. Don't work that way. We don't do fake cops. It's lazy RP. Like people that snipe and people that steal police cars over and over again. It's just lazy RP. Like somebody, you need to be a little bit more creative and uh, original than that. We'll head back to the uh, yellow jack. Stealing a trash can and trying to sell to a cop would be the worst thing to do right now. It would be very unrealistic and it wouldn't, would not make this as organic as it is like that cop right there seeing me. Yep. Like this whole interaction right here. Oh, damn. There goes a unit. A Chiliad unit. He's moving it, too. Oh, yeah. He wants to pull me over. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The conclusion. What's up, sir? How's it going? Hey, what's going on, man? Not much. Deputy Troy Baines with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. The reason for the stop today is uh, I got a call that uh, we're looking for someone matching this description with your car and uh, your uh, ID. My what? I don't have an IV in me, man. I'm not at the hospital. ID, like your identification, your looks. I mean, I don't know what crooks are around in town, but I mean, I'm not a crook. I know you're not a crook, but we just got a call that someone would like that looks like you was uh, taking trash cans from the 24-7 uh, in Sandy. I didn't take a, any uh, trash cans from any place. I, I was selling that one to my buddy, and then these guys gave me these stupid buttons instead. I thought it was money, man. Okay. Well, I was just called about this description, man. All right. All right. You're, you're not, you don't have, I don't think you can fit. Um, it doesn't look like you can fit one back there because I don't have, yeah, I don't have any, seat. I don't have any trash cans in here, man. I don't even know why I have a fire extinguisher in my hand. <laughs> no trash cans in car. Yeah, I don't know what that's about, man, but I didn't, I wasn't taking no trash cans or anything, man. Okay, I understand. Like you know I what said, I, I can do with these buttons? These guys gave me like 20 buttons. They gave you buttons? 
Yeah, because they, cause they bought a trash can from me, man. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't know, to be honest with you. All right. Uh, all right. Hey, how warm me... is this supposed to get to today? Um, I don't know. I think it's supposed to be like maybe 80 degrees. Oh, it's going to be a hot one then, man. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to just let him. But all right, I guess I'll probably talk to 24 7 see what they say, but From now I've got nothing on you, man So you're gonna be good <laughs> I'm literally driving away from Troy not listening to what he's saying. He's being so nice How do we not get in trouble for that? No, I won't be getting away with it there's no way. I'm giving partial plate too. Like it's a hundred percent matching. I didn't have a different unit number. I'm always 127. There's a pursuit. Look at that. Wow. Holy crap. There. Oh, there you go. He wouldn't have had any help anyway on that one. So I guess we have to tr steal this damn Rubbermaid trash can. Might as well now. This has got to be it. Okay, we'll put that in here. There we go. Now we got a trash can in the front. Big rubber made trash can. The last straw. With the way for that uh, pursuit to calm down. Oh, see, cashing something in here. Oh, Master Coast, no, because it's not a car. We don't have we don't have the uh, object uh, one in yet. We'll be doing that soon. I know Darren had it pretty much pretty much done. So soon enough. to find a little spot to hide for our call they might be a little busy though so we'll see how it goes we might want to wait for that one to cool down you know what i mean because ours is not going to be crazy it's just going to be a slow speed pursuit until they stop us with the stupid trash can in the front of the car actually know what we're going to do and do a hood so I can't see the cops behind me when they're trying to pull me over that'll be perfect Josh the gamer thank you for the raid welcome on in oh my god we just lost the back well there's that <laughs> there goes that idea it is flew off. Let's keep going this way. Let's go 
get on the highway, I guess. I wonder if the hood will come off. It might. The trunk. Das Boot. This new trash can I bought is neat. Oh, they're using Twitter now. Let's have a look at Twitter. Now it explodes once we're doing all this. New trash can I bought is neat. They enjoyed it. Then pallets of 2022 the last year. Birds don't catch fire. The car show yellow jacket. Yeah, we saw that. Nice trash can for sale. Yeah, that was the one from earlier. So there you go. They're just saying that they like the trash can that they bought from me. So that works. Uh, Brody, I have Linux in the bed of my truck. I mean, I, I don't know why he's talking to them. I already, I don't need to RP the chat because I already gave it to the dispatcher. That, I mean, that is information that's on them. I don't need to do I don't I already gave him everything I needed to give him an RP. That's that's on that's on the the deputy and and dispatch. I don't want to reiterate the exact same thing I just did. That's an interesting looking car. Put our hazards on. Hey, Leaner, what's up, man? I'm doing great. Hey, Kuko, how you doing? Oh, here comes this ambulance. Wow. Going to rapeseed. Oh, uh, I guess that might have can't come to an end out there in grapeseed because there that the ambulance was headed out that way so probably crashed or ejected out of the vehicle who knows more than likely that is the case What is that? AI, you're nuts. Oh, there's a unit out there. Let's see how far we can go until we finally get pulled over. be doing anything besides safe. Yep. It's pretty accurate. Everything's falling over. Strange. It's like a stop sign texture that goes over the top of it. Weird. Black Civic and Grape Seed, yep. I guess they wrecked out there.
Also, those Bezros. Nice. Noise. Man, it'd be so great if I could knock a trash can into the front of this. I think there's a way we can do it. I think that it would work. Let's see if we can do it at the harmony thing. Because that would be epic if we could do that. There's a trash truck. We'd have to get it just right. To knock it up into the front. So let's think about how we can do that. You have to park the car to the right of it and knock it over into it. See what we can do. Uh, the attached grip will not work because it's not a vehicle. Uh, bicycles are vehicles, hence the reason why they work. Okay. And it's got, there is a way to, it can be done, but it's going to be hard to do. A lot harder to do than you think. Oh, stupid thing. I have to get like real lucky with it. Stupid trash can. If only it would just pop up in there. That'd be nice. Let's try to get the car in front. Oh, there's a cop watching me. <laughs> He's just going to leave it be. <laughs> oh. What's going on, man? It's not. What the fuck? Don't worry about it. Come on, you stupid thing. Ooh, I have an idea. Forklift maybe work? Forklift maybe? It might. Utility. Forklift it up. Yeah, the NPC alert. No kidding, dude. Let's try to get this in here. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Come on. I want to go up and down. I thought we had a forklift script or something. Let's see. I know we did. I put it in here. And I assume we still have it. Uh, forklift script. Self, oh, self explanatory. It would be on the screen instructions if it did. But it doesn't seem like it is. Hold shift. It's not working. Usually you just go up and down with the... It doesn't like the trash can. Sadly. Damn, dude. You see if it's not on there, it goes up and down. It's only when it's on the trash can. That's kind of stupid. 
Yep. Once it's under the trash can, it freaks out. No dice. No dice at all. You keep trying something here. Maybe it'll eventually do it. It's really stupid that you can't use this for objects, for props. There you go. Come on. Force it. They can pick up the car with it. Should be able to with the forklift script. Not this one. Come on, you. Yeah. I'm running out of ideas to try to get that stupid trash can into the front of that thing. Sadly. It's too heavy for the forklift. Come on, you stupid trash can. We have to just like, get lucky, you know what I mean? Come on, get in there. Get in there. It's too, I can't even move the, oh, it can't even move with the car. It made that trash can so heavy. That's the problem. So maybe a smaller trash can would work with a forklift. I don't know. Are there any smaller ones over here? Is the blue one. Now we'll see if the blue one will do it. Maybe it's just that one. Yeah, see how light that is? This should work with the trash can. Or with the forklift, we'll see. We'll see if we can pick it up with the forklift. Because having one would be great, you know what I mean? They just made, for some reason, these stupid Rubbermaid ones so friggin' tall. See what we can do here. Do this off the beaten path a little bit. Stupid rats. Trash can simulator. Yep, pretty much. No, I use uh, NVE. NVE. Okay, yeah, you can do it with this one. It was just that. How stupid is that, man? All right. We're going to be able to do this one. So that's good. Let's drop it down. Back it out. Right, we need to pick it up from the front. And then put it in the car. It's going to look great once we do it. You know? Like that. No. Down you go. Stupid thing. Stupid rats. 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 Ugh. It's not gonna be that easy. Stupid rat. It died. You were paying attention. You stupid thing. So close to getting this in here. It's annoying. Hmm. 
He did from the other side. This is dumb. If we can get it in there from the side, it'll be okay. I'm gonna try that next. It's our only shot. It's just nighttime. It's very annoying that it's night and I can't see what we're doing. All right, ran it up. Wonder if I can just kick that thing into it. No, nope, we'll further forward, I guess. Maybe I have to do it that way, get it in front of the car and then just knock it in, you know what I mean? And try that. All right, let's see if we can do it. Come on, you stupid thing. These damn GTA physics. Come on. You gotta be kidding me over here. Nothing. So annoying. It's so close to happening. No, the cars don't like collisions with the props at all because it stops the forklift from working when I do that. <sighs> yeah, we don't have an atom atomizer on the server. That'd be a little bit much. Or do we have it on there now? Did we turn that on? Well, the atomizer is going to make it everything blow up. Yeah, spawn another forklift. Try to do two. We can try that. So, yeah, I mean, get this thing in position, then push it with the other forklift. That's all you can really do. Let's try that. Let's try that idea. Because this is obnoxious at this point. <laughs> at this point, it's just obnoxious. <laughs> we are convinced to get this done. <gasps> we did it. We did it. I don't know if it's going to stay, but we did it. I think as good as we can get it. Stay. Stay. <laughs> I get this thing to go into the car. There we go. To keep the the front of these forks on it, so it doesn't go anywhere. This is a joke. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Delvey, this guy. All right, moment of truth, and it's gonna fall, isn't it? Sack of monkeys. Get behind it before it does that. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Try to go full speed at it and drop it in there by hitting the brakes. There you go. There you go. God, I hate it. Just need a friggin' attached script. I just give up. I friggin' give up. Stupid, stupid trash can. And we get a freeze. Unbelievable, man. Take the hood off. I mean, we could try to take the hood off. I, don't, I just don't know if it'll work. Maybe that would do it. Let's try. Field-related options. 
Uh, doors. Remove. Door. Good. Trunk, I mean. There we go. I mean, yeah, last tra chance, I guess. We could try. things tell you what we gonna try will not work Debbie Downer Nobody got time for that. Let's try this. I mean, yeah, we could try the two forklifts again, but man, what a pain in the ass. If I just get to roll. Whatever. Whatever. This is the most frustrating stuff. You cannot tilt the forks now. It's GTA, not BMNG. Just kidding. All right, get out of the way, car. Let's try this again. Stupid ass thing. Stupid, stupid, stupid ass thing, man. Let's try the two forklift method. We're gonna get it. We gonna get it eventually. At least it'll be daylight by then. So that's good news for us. Pickup truck, it would have been no problem. But this car prevents a prevents it from happening. That's why it's ridiculous. There you go. Lonnie simulator right here. With his glasses. His glasses. Yeah, pickup truck would have been a lot easier, I know, but. <gasps> oh my God, I think we did it. Oh, it's not going to let it, is it? It's just not going to do it. Look, it acts like it's not there. That's why it wasn't doing it. Look at that joke. Look at that joke. Oh, man. They do not want it to happen. They are not gonna. They aren't gonna let it happen. That is so stupid. I mean, we had it. That would that would have done it right there, but it's all right. How stupid is that? Dumb, dumb to dumb. Now yeah, we could try to get it on the roof and balance it. I don't know. We'd have to drive real slow. But it could be done. We'd have to knock it over again. So let's see. Yeah, I can't believe a cop wasn't watching it. You know what I mean? Come on. I mean, knocking this thing over is going to be tough. Tougher than it should be. Oh, cop. <laughs> Don't mind me over here. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's try to knock this back over on its thing here. Forklift physics on this suck real bad. Let me tell you what.
Come on, you. Piece of sh Absolute junk, dude. I give up. I give up. What else can we do? This stupid ass trash can saga, man. I tell you what. It's unbelievable. Oh, man, there's a fire going on or something. Stupid ass trash can. Just needs to fall over on its side. How hard is that? How hard is it? Not going to work anyway. It's not going to work. Oh, it can be done. It can be done. It's just going to be difficult to do. Try the other method. Tried and true way. I have two forklifts. It's the only way I know I can do it. gonna do it don't you worry about it it's gonna happen Ooh, close only this had actual physics of a friggin forklift would help a lot oh I hate it it's just like a real forklift Oh, now we have to move it again. Now we got to move it again. Hey, Scott, what's up? All right, here we go. Let's go like this. Little Miss PG, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome on in, everybody. We're uh, being stupid, trying to get a trash can on its end. Ah, oh, don't you fall off the forks. No, you don't. No, you don't. Not today. How you doing? How you doing? All right. Nope. All the way down. Stop. <laughs> Here. We're just going to put the damn thing on top. It's going to roll off. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm done with it. I hate it. It can go to hell. This is so terrible. And I, if we just had this, the, if we just had a script, it would make things so much easier. But we just don't have it. You can't even get the fork inside that hole. You see that? Oh. <gasps> oh, no, 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 we had it. Hold on. Try again. Stupid car. Move out of the way. Did you see we're busy? Oh, it was so close. It, why is it not doing it now? It won't go underneath it. I hate it. Hope you know how much I hate this thing. They didn't they didn't bother the collisions of this is makes no sense. They didn't bother making it right. I knock it over this way. Stupid ass trash can. Oh, I hate you. I absolutely hate you trash can. This is unbelievable. I guess we just keep ramming it until it just finally does it. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. It ramped it? Really? Unbelievable how ridiculous this trash can has been for us. Get a good run at it. Jesus. I hate this trash can.
Uh oh. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I'm just going to leave. <laughs> we finally had a cop watching us doing stupid stuff. <laughs> We're not going to stop. Not going to stop. Forty five set. <laughs> I'm missing a door because he got so frustrated trying to put this stupid thing on. <laughs> This is perfect right here. I'll tell you that right now. Doesn't get any better than this. Uh, might as well get a according to this. Trash can bandit at it again. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a slow chase. You better believe it. He's going to have backup soon, probably. Oh, there's another unit right there. <laughs> He's saying pull a vehicle over. Lonnie has had it. He, he's given it up. He, he's just, he doesn't care anymore because he couldn't get the trash can on top of the car. He's just done. He snapped. He's just like, nope, not doing it. Not today. No U-turn. We're making a U-turn. <laughs> oh yeah trafficking trash cans that's all it's about we got three on them now We'll go through downtown Grapeseed. Oh, there's three of them back there. <laughs> They're getting the tour.
Wait for them to do their pit maneuver on me. Let's <laughs> get them a little bit faster now. 50. Increase the speed just by a little bit. <laughs> Give me five more miles an hour. Fifty-five. So we can close the gap. At the weight. Oh, now we got a sheriff unit back there too. The four of them. Now we're doing 55. Pull the vehicle over. <laughs> oh, oh, I love a parade. I'm going to tell him I thought we were in a parade or something. <laughs> <laughs> the missing door is the best. That's the best part. <laughs> Drop it to twenty. Oh, they'll they'll like they're gonna insta pit. I'm gonna hit the dog. I'm gonna hit the coyote. Coyote. Oh, there's a Sandy Shores unit. Hey man, what's going on? Hey, uh, could you pull over for a moment? <laughs> hey man, could you pull it over for a moment? <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the pit. Let me see your hands. <laughs> Chili, you know what's crazy? <laughs> oh, I tried to do a hands up. It won't let me do a T menu. Hands up. Let me see your hands. I got my hands up, man. Can you get out of the car? I can't get out of the car because your truck's right here, man. Get out of the passenger seat. I can't get out on that side, okay, man. It's don't jammed. Move, okay. Don't move. We're going to move the truck, okay? All right, man. Make any sudden moves, you're gonna get tased. Put your hands back up. Uh, I give up, man. All right, hop out of the car.
All right, I just had to take a couple puffs before you guys arrest me. Right, put your hands up. Come on, you stupid thing. It's so slow to do hands up. All right, all right. Got my hands up, man. All right. Don't go anywhere, okay? Someone got cover? Yeah, I got you. Okay, moving in. No, I got a comforter at home, man. Anything on you that's gonna poke, stick me, or hurt me in any way? No, I got a vape on me, man. Hey, did you see okay. that, uh, that, uh, text message? What's the whole, what's the whole deal, man? Well, I don't, yeah. I, I Mr. Price, why, why did you not stop when I turned on my sirens? Oh, I knew it was all over for me, man. I was just trying to figure out what you were doing. I didn't even, I mean, it's your vehicle. If you want to destroy it, that's on you. I just was going to try to figure out what was going on. No, I was trying to get a trash can on top of my car and I got frustrated, man. I was using one of the forklifts and I couldn't get it to do it. Ah, uh, so you were trying to take another trash can and couldn't get it, huh? Yeah, it was a blue one and it, it wouldn't go. I got, I almost had it in the front of my car, but it wouldn't stay, man. So I just got frustrated. Okay, well, I mean, I didn't even see you messing with the trash can. I just saw the forklift, and then you spin out in the middle of the road, so. Yeah, I found a blue right. trash can in that parking lot, and I was going to sell it to a buddy of mine. But then yeah. you rolled up on me, and I knew it was all over, man, so. Okay, well, uh, if you haven't already been informed, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Anything, if you, or I'm sorry, you have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one. I don't need a gurney, man. I'm state. not hurt. No, I know it's uh, an attorney, uh, a lawyer. So you have the right oh, to a lawyer. Oh, okay. If one of those guys. Afford one, yeah, yeah okay, if you can't okay. afford one, one will be appointed to you at the cost of the state. Do you understand and wish to continue speaking with me? I don't understand, but I always say yes. Okay, well, if you don't understand your rights, I can break it down for you, so... Um, again, I'll read it one more time. So you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, okay, so, oh, wait, what, is that, the what does that mean, though? Like, you have the right to remain silent. Yeah, so you, you don't have, to you have the about. right. You don't have to answer oh, any no, questions. Oh, no, I'll answer any questions have. you have for me, man. Okay. All right. My you mom and dad have... taught me to never lie, man. Well, that's good, <laughs> Mr. Price. I'm glad to hear that. So, uh, with that being said, you also have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you at the cost of the state. Meaning oh, I can't, aff yeah, I can't afford. Yeah, I can't afford a lawyer, man. That that's fine. We can we can give you one of our uh, public public defenders. Um, they work basically. They the state pays them for their work. Um, so, if you want, you don't have to answer any questions until you have a lawyer present, or if you want to have a lawyer present. Um, during the questioning, you can do so. Um, also, we can have a lawyer meet you at Bowenbrook if you want to discuss your charges and, and discuss the strategy before you go see the, the judge. No, I do not wish to buy a present for my lawyer. Well, you don't have okay. to buy a present for him. Okay, well, okay, man. Yeah, I, I can't afford one. Those guys that I sold that trash can to, they gave me 20 buttons, man. Not even dollars. Uh, Oh, you got ripped off by them. I'm oh, sorry, sir. Wow. I hate to hear that. But, yeah, it was right. a galvanized trash can for $5, and they gave me 20 buttons, man. All right. Hey, let me – I got to take a quick phone call. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, sir. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw you in the back of my car here real quick. Okay? Don't throw me around, man. Well, no. I'm going to gently Taylor. single face you, okay? Yeah, I'll sit in your car, man. You got the AC on? Yeah, I mean, it's it's not fully cranked, but it's going. All right, my AC gave out in the chase, man. Uh, good thing you had all your doors open. Hey, is there anything in that car I need to be worried about? Guns, drugs, bombs, knives, anything like that? No, I ain't got nothing in there, man. Okay, all right. Turn off this. Uh, me, uh, car is clear and has no insurance. There we go. No insurance on the car. I'll tell him that's the reason why I, took, I left. 
<laughs> well, I knew we were going to get arrested today, but I'm glad it, it took to that level. Seeing a cop get watch us get frustrated with that whole ordeal is the best. Red Panda, I'm not 10 years old, man. God, I see that kind of RP all over the place. This is like, really? Really? He's just staring at the car. Is it only Matt here? Yeah, it is. No, it's Doc. That car, Matt and Doc. Uh, yeah, I'm writing that up now. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna get transport out for him and uh, let's see what he wants to do. And then I got tow coming up to the car already, so. Awesome. I appreciate it, man. Yep. Hey, Lonnie. Yeah, man. I uh, I don't have any insurance on my car, man. Okay. Yeah. Well, well that's kind that's of why I, I, your I didn't, couldn't right afford a, a ticket, man. That's why I didn't want to stop for him. I I got gotcha. you. Well, but there's a lottery. I'll be honest. There's a lottery ticket in the under the seat. And I, I found that on the ground, man, but it, nobody, like, claimed it yet, I so okay. that's all I well, saw, man. Okay. Well, uh, to be honest with you, the insurance is kind of the, the least of your concerns currently. Um, obviously, you, you, you did lead us on a pursuit, but uh, well, I'll, I'll let the other deputy know. He's the one that's got the charges and all that, um, and uh, he's going he's gonna to take care of all that fun stuff, okay? All right, man, yeah. You uh, you want me to get uh, county transport out for you? You want me to take you down myself? Uh, you can take me. It's not far, right, man? No, no, it's right up the road. Just hang tight. Let me let him know what's going on. Get tow situated, and uh, we'll get you out of here, okay? All right, man. Hey, buddy. Yeah, it's just this <laughs> car here. Go yeah. Downtown. Let me guess. Vehicle took off from you? Yeah. No, it never right. really stopped, so. Oh, interesting. All right. Well, I'll take it to Impel. I'm just going to get the paperwork started. Sounds good. He said he's got no insurance on the car, so I'll leave that up to you. What you want to deal with that? He couldn't afford the ticket, so that was part of the reason he took off. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hit him with petty theft, and because um, I think the value was under $1,000 for this trash can. I think so, too. And then I hit him with fleeing and loose. It's one felony, one misdemeanor. There you go. Not Mr. Good. Price, I'm not I'm not sure if you heard that or not, but I got you, uh, I got you for petty theft, which is the taking of those trash cans, which you admitted to. Uh, taking those trash cans from those locations, and then um, I got you with fleeing and eluding along for us, sir. So I've been a petty in be... a while, man. I didn't know those were illegal. No, 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 not petting. Petty, p i or p e t i t. It means um, less than a thousand dollars in value. Oh, the trash can? I it was worth more than a thousand dollars. No, it was worth less than a thousand dollars. Oh, it okay, a, man. If it would have been more than a thousand dollars, it would have been um, first degree, I believe, theft, which would be uh, anything over a thousand, under a five thousand, and then it it just goes up from there. All right, I would have uh, I would have paid like five dollars for it. Yeah, I man, those places they actually don't even own them; they rent them from the the trash companies. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, they, they get pretty expensive. Maybe that's yeah, why just, Raj is giving me such a good deal on the scrap metal, man. Yeah, yeah it could be. Scrap metal is pretty good surprised, right now. But We're going to get you transported. I'll have those charges uh, sent over, and they'll be waiting for you at Mullenbrook. All right, man. All right, I'm going to get him taken down to the station. I right, appreciate it. All right. I just went to jail okay. like, a, like a month ago, man. What was that for? Me and uh, Ricky, my buddy, we were we were moving our uh, we were move, we we went and got a Christmas tree at a farm, and then the cops said that uh, there wasn't a Christmas tree, man. Yeah, no, I I dealt with your buddy at that point. Yeah, and they told me I shouldn't run from the police, but then I forgot whenever I got caught over there, man. 
Yeah, no, I, I he was, uh, you let him out at he, uh, U tool back there. And I, uh, I, I was dealing with him there. Okay, yeah, because I, yeah, I was trying to find out how to get to the U tool. Yeah, yeah, that's right, because you, you did the same thing you did earlier and you asked me for directions. Yeah, I was yeah, trying I to find out that. how to get to the 24 7. I figured it out, though, man. And then right I. Right there in front of us. Yeah. Well, here we go. Short little ride. <laughs> Sounds absolutely nothing like bugs, guys. Oh, my God. Like, they sound right, we'll nothing alike. Just a little uh, walk. We'll get you in there. We'll get you all set, okay? All right, man. Holy moly. Doesn't even sound close. It's Matt. It's definitely he Matt. He explained all the charges to you, right? Yeah, he said that uh, it's illegal to go to a petting zoo. No, no it's uh, petty theft that, that you're being charged with. It's just any stealing something that's worth less than $1,000. Going to a petting zoo yeah, is I'm not worth, worth less than him. I'm not worth more than $1,000, man. I wouldn't even say that. I mean, I don't think I own anything higher than a thousand dollars. Besides, is that your car? Yeah, I paid eight hundred bucks for it, man. Well, I, I'm telling you right now, the way that looked, I probably would have bought it for more than a thousand. No, it's a pretty cool car, man. But it's uh, now I got to work on it. Well, yeah, you need some doors. Uh, let's go up and get you right up to these double doors. I'll get those cuffs off, hand you over to the the booking booking guys. Okay. All right, man. I'll let him do his cuffs. All right, there you go, Lonnie. They'll uh, they'll take care of you in there, okay? All right, man.